with a little more Ugandan products now finding space in the market among a host of imported items. The policy of Buy Uganda Build Uganda, instituted five years ago, still requires further refining so as to boost competitiveness of domestic enterprises. Not in East Africa, not in Africa. And what I know is that you cannot market elsewhere if you cannot market near. You can't go far if you can't market near. The challenge that we have, and I'll take an example of Uganda, crushing market the north, crushing market to the west, crushing market to the south. According to a cross-section of the public, there remains the challenge of choice between domestically produced goods and imports, in part due to less visibility of local items. SME CEOs, we need to pause and think, what are we changing about what we produce that can compete effectively? Uh, it's food for thought. I paused and thought about the guys in Makere produce so many research papers in food science. Is there room to improve the products that we have? And in spite of renewed urge for modern-day innovations, it is also being observed that many emerging startups in Uganda with fresh technology applications must be cushioned. A typical entrepreneur needs a complete ecosystem. Uh, they will need the capital to invest. Uh, they'll need the capital. They'll need the capacity uh, because there's a difference between coming up with an idea and totally building uh, a business. They'll need access to the private sector, which gives them an opportunity uh, to scale. Reina Ojun, NTV.